like uh, we have different hooks like use state to initial uh, to use the state in a functional component we have use effect hook which is used to handle the side effects in the functional component like component did mount component will unmount component will update and uh, we have use context api uh, to create a global context to avoid the props drilling in application and uh, we have use callback uh, to use callback and use memo for uh, <coughs> optimize our react uh, application these are the hooks and use reducer and use ref okay uh, in which situation would you use a uh, use memo in react uh, to suppose we have an uh, array or object which uh, do not change uh, so we can wrap this uh, array and object uh, use memo is used to uh, return memorize value so we can use uh, use memo to memorize our array or object okay and uh, can you tell me the difference between a prop and a state yes a state is an object which hold the information for a comp for a react component which may change over a lifetime of a component and uh, props is a way of passing data from parents to its child okay okay and what's the difference between html and react event handling uh, sorry i didn't catch that what's the difference between the html event handling and react event handling so react uses synthetic event uh, the main difference is in the name like uh, yeah, it uh, react in react uses camel case for name events and uh, yes camel case okay and can you tell me the difference between virtual dom and shadow dom yes uh, shadow dom is used to create custom html element uh, we can also ca say web components it is mainly used for uh, css scoping suppose we have an uh, we have using multiple uh, css libraries then we don't want to like uh, uh, there there may be clash between the class classes so for css scoping we use uh, shadow dom okay so how can we set a state with a dynamic key name set a key set state with a dynamic key name sorry i didn't get uh... okay and can you explain me the working and the differences between stateful and stateless components yes uh, a, a component which have a state can be considered as stateful and a component which doesn't have state it is a stateless component
before react 16.8 uh, we cannot use state in functional component so they consider as a stateless component and the class to use state in our uh, react component we have to use class components uh, so class component are considered a stateful component okay and can you explain the reason behind why a component name should start with a capital letter yeah. yes so So that React, uh, no, this is a uh, React uh, component, not a function. Okay. And why is mount is considered, considered as an anti-pattern in ReactJS? And what is the solution to avoid this? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Mount is considered as an anti pattern. Is mount. If mount. Mm, no, sir. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, Mohammed, I am done from my side. If you have any questions or query, you can ask.